Eidos Interactive And the genius is at Iron Storm Rest in peace Broadly present to you Deus X First of the name The best game ever known to mankind Hey there internet crowds Starting the name and Deus Ex is gonna be my game. Okay, so Deus Ex to me personally it's a masterpiece of the best game ever made. Um, I've been playing through it something like uh, 18 or 19 times uh, on all levels of difficulties and uh, I'm going to LP it um, and I'm going to try to show you as many tips uh, secret rooms and hidden things uh, as I can. Oh god knows, this game has a lot of this. So let's start a new game. Uh, yeah, also the menus of the game are gonna be in French because, uh, well, basically I'm a Frenchie, so uh, it's easier for me to understand if it's in French, but uh, if it prevents you from uh, understanding, uh, tell me and I will switch to English. It will be a bit more difficult to me, but uh, I almost know the game by heart, so you know it would not be a big trouble. So tell me if you'd prefer it to be in English. Okay, so for a level of difficulties, um, never play on easy. It's really too easy. If you've never played the FPS, uh, play on normal. If you've never played the Ustex, play on difficult. And if you've already played it, play on realistic. Because really, overall, the game is pretty easy. I'm going to play normal mode, but uh, that's just because I'm going to be talking and trying to be entertaining, you know? So, first, let's put in my name, Sarusig. It's pronounced Sarusig and not Sarusig. Uh, basically, I tell the A in uh, French way, so it sounds A, not A. Here are all your 10 skills, um, weapons, handgun, Weapons Demolition, it's basically the explosives uh, Weapons Rifles Weapons uh, Heavy Weapons, it's uh, the Bazooka, the Flamethrower uh, All the funny little uh, things, you know The kind of weapon which makes you go in a kind of lother like a <laughs> You know, that kind of things uh, The Blunt Weapons Lock Picking Electronic Lock Picking IT uh, medicine, swimming, and survival. Uh, some of the skills are completely useless, like survival or medicine. I'm never going to upgrade them, or only if I have many points at the end and I don't know what to do with them. Um, here are the points you need to pay to upgrade. Here are your level. Uh, you're on level 1 on the end gun at the beginning of the game, and level 0 on the rest of the skills. But I don't need any mastery in the end gun, so I'm going to downgrade it. By the way, you can downgrade only at the beginning of the game, the only part when you can downgrade. It's not all of Rakara, you can't change your skills when you want, okay? Downgrade it now or never. And now I have this amount of, po this amount of points, and I'm going to buy whatever I want. So, basically, lockpicking and electronic lockpicking, because you're going to need these skills. Yeah. A lot. And let's start the game. First cinematic in the game. Skip it. It's ugly, it's long, it's boring, and it spoils a lot in the game. You really don't want to see that. Especially if it's your first time. Okay, so the plot. Basically, your name is JC Denton. You are a classy, shady man. Uh, mysterious, um, with a leather coat, you know. The kind of guy who's got uh, all the girls running for him. You're a biomodified agent working for an American uh, agency called the UNATCO, uh, secret agency, and it's your first day on the job. And guess what? Terrorists have destroyed Liberty Statue. Yeah, the game was actually made in uh, 2000. And terrorists have broken the Liberty Statue. It's not another site at all. They did not predict it. Really, they didn't. They didn't foresee anything. Um, you know, so yeah, they, they made basically they made the, the, the head of the statue explode. And there are something like 
40 or 50 terrorists. Uh, you are UNATCO already has tried to assault uh, the statue. They lost. Uh, they got some of their agents killed or captured. And basically, you're expected to do all the job they failed to do alone. Yeah. And it's your first day. They like that at the UNATCO. Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. Yeah, this the guy, Alex Jacobson, uh, is talking to you through a kind of a box which is in your ass. And he is going to guide you at the beginning of the game, okay? So, uh, let's pick the items. The binoculars, you don't need them. The lockpicks, take them. Hop. Okay, so, only a few steps in the game and already, eat an item. Swim here, and guess what, two crates. Uh, this kind of crates, the blue logo on the side, it's always furniture in it. So, break them when you're at the occasion, the occasion. Don't miss them. Yeah, stuff. So, uh, now a little advanced tip. At the beginning of the game, your brother, here, this guy, Welcome aboard, is going to try to talk to you, because uh, it's what you're supposed to do at the beginning of the game. You're supposed to talk to your brother. He's older than you. And uh, he's been on the job for a few time now, I think it's a few years. So he knows where he is. And uh, he's going to brief you. Normally the game makes him run towards you and when he's close enough, a dialogue engages uh, automatically. But... And he runs faster than you, so you can't outrun him. They come this way, I got but him, the game is scripted in a way that if you jump, he's not going to follow you as well. Sometimes he's going to stop, stay like that. And you can run, and you can basically run towards the whole level and get him Not to so fast, help JC. you with the terrorists. Talk to your brother the dock. You only have he a little shit gun at the beginning, but he has a full rifle, oh, machine gun, and he's basically invincible at the beginning of the JC. game. So, <laughs> you know, he can do a little help. Yeah, everyone's over the power except you, day. and you're the one to think you'd have a choice. What's going it on? is really, NSF. really, really They hit one fair. of our shipments. A few of them got They're away, but we trapped you. the rest They're in the statue. You like what are we waiting for? Me. Looks like a Everyone's technical assault. Against you. The NSF took Until one of the our agents hostage. To the bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in yeah. alone. When you're called I think Jason someone Denton high up wants to see up. how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric rod. I don't mind a test, but you know better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock yeah, them unconscious. Stick with the prod. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Mandarin wants you to the pick an additional weapon. Pretty good. A sniper rifle, uh, a gap gun, or a really mini crossbow. Uh, suits their character. But the voice acting in, in itself, the techniques, the emotion, suck. There's a line in the game uh, dealing with the bomb at one time. I will show you that. Uh, it's a bonus line. Really. The suckiest line in the history of uh, video game voice really sucks. So here, your brother um, gives us a choice between three weapons. Yeah, they're sending you to the fight. You are alone. Uh, they have a lot of furniture, and guess what? These fuckers, they only give you one of the weapons. No, not not all of them. No, they do not give you any supply. Uh, you're going to see the agency, the headquarter, is on the Liberty Island. It's only a few foot away. There are only two terrorists to kill to go to the headquarters. But no, they're not giving you anything. They're not gonna give you. They're motherfuckers. So anyway, you got the choice between the rifle, uh, sniper rifle, uh, the gap gun, which is basically a bazooka with guided rockets, and the crossbow, which uh, shoots um, sleeping darts. Uh, the crossbow and the rifle, you can get them in this stage. So don't get them, get the gap gun, because the gap gun, if I remember well, you can't get it until something like stage 3 or 4. Uh, I'm saying stage 3 or 4, it's, uh, they are not called stage 3 or 4, but you get the point. So yeah, get the gap gun, because Never you're not I'm going to get, gun might be useful. get it uh, I'm until a long time if you do not get it now. When I reach the command. In fact, if you don't get it now, you're going to get rocket before getting the gap gun, which is really, really frustrating. Also, first blunt weapon in the game, C crowbar, red and grey. It doesn't remind you of anything, does it? Actually, there are a lot. And when I say a lot, I really mean a lot of references to Half-Life this game. It seems like they're a bit frustrated by the success of Half-Life, 
And uh, basically, Deus Ex was supposed to be uh, uh, an opponent to Half-Life, uh, a challenger, but uh, they failed. Uh, it's a shame because uh, the game Deus Ex, it's oh, at least as good and probably better than Half-Life, and a lot of gamer uh, consider Deus Ex to be one of the best game of all time. But uh, it did not meet a commercial success. That's a shame. So anyway, uh, in this game, there are several ways to go in. You can go Maverick, Berserk, or you can go Stealthy. Um, you can go a bit more diplomatic too. Uh, normally I play Stealthy, but uh, it's really long and uh, it's not really entertaining to see. So uh, at first I'm going to show you how I would play normally. And uh, then, because it's a bit boring, uh, I'm gonna play in a more, uh, you know, Berserk way and uh, totally rip their asses off, uh, you know, on not Schwarzenegger style. Um, also, I'm going to try to not die, it would be a shame to die in normal mode. And um, I'm going to try to save as few times as necessary, but... Um, Normally I play stealth, as I told you, so I save a lot. I'm the kind of player who kills one enemy, saves and goes in. So I'm going to try to not save too much. But, unfortunately I've got reflexed, you know. Okay, so, let's go. First mission of the game. If you want to make a covert approach, I want to remember make the Academy Stealth course. course. For Stay now, their field of view, walk slowly also, quiet, something else, um, if you're a you normal mod, the dwarves are a bit uh, Metal Gear Solid style. They're deaf, blind, and they have really, really short memory, so don't be too afraid of them. Um, I'm going to reorganize my inventory as I like, and uh, I'm going to meet you back then. See you in a second. 